be a failure. As long as not gonna kill you, it's gonna make you what? Stronger. It's much better to run a company with a pattern, right? Absolutely. So let's come back to the, to the as the topic says, that uh, rethinking equity, company valuation, and strategic partnerships as a way forward for a startup. Uh, so you said uh, it's better to start with a pattern in the business than going alone. And uh, let me ask you this. Uh, who should be your partner? What are the criteria to you know based on when selecting a, you know somebody? You have a vision, you have an idea, you want to start a company, you want to register, and then you're looking for somebody to uh, you know call your partner, your shareholder. Yeah. So uh, what are the few things to consider? Because sometimes also these young men they will choose somebody they love, somebody they like, and and, and they forget that uh, business is uh, way different from that. So what are the few uh, technical, you know, criteria somebody has to consider while selecting uh, a business partner? Well, that's a, that's a tough question. Um, I, I, the first thing is you need to find somebody that has the strength where you have your weakness, number one. That's a good point. You know, that's the first thing. You don't look for somebody who has the same strength as you. Then you need to find somebody who balance your, 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 the your team. Weakness. Yes, you know, because if you're very uh, strong in business, mm. not really in financial booking and all, you find somebody in financial booking. If you're very strong in, in, in financial booking, if it's a technical business or technology company, you're not good in technology, you find a technology partner. The second thing is you, you have to be aligned with the vision with your partner. That's true. And, and the last thing I would say is trust. You have to be able to trust that person. Uh, because, you know, and, and it's been said all over the place, partnership is like marriage. That's true. There's going to be up, there's going to be down, there's going to be argument, there's going to be all kinds of different things. But as long as you guys have the same vision, as long as you guys, you know, understand where you guys are going and you, you know how to deal with each other as some, you know, as, as you grow, then that's the best part. But it's tough. It's really tough. It's very tough. So uh, is, it, uh, is it good that uh, before you start that business, before you register, before you, you, know, you kick off on the ground, I think uh, uh, what you talk about, the shareholding agreement documents, yeah, equity, equity documents, uh, you're talking about trust. So does trust mean that uh, because you love each other, you like each other, you've been together for quite a long time, you know each other, does it mean that uh, you don't have to consider all the shareholding agreement documents? You, you can just run your business based on the trust? That's what you mean? Of course not. Uh, documentation, obviously, uh, uh, it's very important. It's not just about trust. It's to make sure that everything is transparent, That's right. right? And it's transparent for whoever comes in after you start the business. They want to see, okay, what's the structure of the company? Who owns what? You know, uh, who does what? Who does what? It, it, it gives them confidence, especially investors. Uh, investors love documents. That's they true. love documentation because it tells them an idea of, you know, that you guys are well organized, well structured. You have a clear vision of where you're going. You have to have your financial projections. You have to have your, as you say, your shareholder agreement. But all those documents can be amended uh, as you grow. Also, yeah, that's true. So. Uh, but between the partner, it should be a straightforward document, nothing too complicated. You know, it should be a, yes, a shareholder agreement, it shouldn't be more than a page. You know, because there's no money yet, right? There, there's no, well, you're always trying to simplify things, at least in the beginning, and you work your way up. If you earn $50,000 that year, you improve your agreement. If you earn 100000 and and so on and so forth. Because like anything, your company is growing you know, organically, your document should be growing organically. organically. Same thing. So